Hi, thanks for joining me. Today, I want to talk about doing a soft manifestation reset. What do I mean by that? Um, you're just going to do a couple of things to sort of reset you on your track and your path of manifesting that thing that you desire to manifest. So if you haven't done so already, hit the like and the subscribe button to show a little channel love. Now, you may notice things are not manifesting as quickly as you want them to. Uh, in one of my other videos, I talk about the trickery or manifestation. There's a trick to it, and it happens mainly in here. And so if you can get this where you need it to be, your manifesting will happen much faster than the norm. Everything starts with you. You're the first step to manifesting. So everything starts with you. So I, I would like to, when I'm manifesting, and if I think that it's taking a little too long, the first thing I do is I check my thoughts. That's the a number one thing. Check my thoughts. So you want to check your thoughts because that's where everything is taking shape and forming. Your thoughts are giving everything shape and form form in the physical plane. So you want to check those thoughts out first. Then you want to check your focus. What are you focusing on? And why I say that is because you may be thinking that you want to, or you may be working towards manifesting a vehicle. And you say, man, I haven't gotten this vehicle yet. And I've done all these different steps that I have laid out in order to get the vehicle to manifest here under my control in my environment and it has not happened yet so when that happens i say check what has come into your environment since you started that manifestation plan for that vehicle what i'm saying is maybe two months ago, three months ago, six months ago, you set in action this particular path for manifesting a vehicle. And the vehicle has not come under your control. You don't have the keys to the vehicle. You don't have the vehicle sitting outside, parked outside in your driveway. But what has transpired in your environment since you set in motion that plan for manifesting that vehicle, go back, ponder, take pencil and paper and make a list of things that you have acquired since then. Is it a new wardrobe or a partial wardrobe? Is it a couple of new pairs of shoes? Um, did you take her or a movie, uh, opera, orchestra? Did you go on a trip? Did you go and have your hairstyle redone or change? We do maintenance. We need maintenance for ourselves, our hair, um, our bodies. We need regular maintenance. But you go and get um, a hairstyle that costs a hundred and some odd dollars or 200 bucks or more that could have been put off because you are moving to acquire a new vehicle or a vehicle now some things happen when we do manifesting projects they happen sometimes overnight sometimes they happen like miraculously happen like you put little to no effort into it Everything has a place in your plan or in that road trip to manifesting whatever the object is. But if you have to acquire a new vehicle and you're waiting on someone to give you the vehicle, that can happen. Trust me, that can happen. But in the meantime, the normal way to get a vehicle is for you to save your money or get a loan or something like that. So I'm saying, you don't want to spend extra money that you don't need to spend. You have a hairstyle, maintain that hairstyle for as long as 
absolutely possible, really. Maintain your hairstyle. Don't go out and get a totally fresh new style if it's going to take a hundred and some odd dollars or more. You can put that money towards your vehicle. And who's to say once you get ready to get the vehicle, you may not need that money. But the fact is, those actions are saying to the universe, I'm moving towards my vehicle. I'm doing things in the natural that would help me acquire the vehicle. Not I'm spending my money here, there. Um, I'm, I've been out to dinner every day or every other day or twice a week since I put into um, action, this plan into action. You want to work towards everything and you want your actions to say that you're working towards these things. What that would do is if you're banking extra money, say cut out um, going out, you don't go out, cut all of that out, bank all of that money. And what it's going to do is your actions are going to tell the universe, I'm moving towards this vehicle. It is the most important thing. Not that the wardrobe is most important. These eating out trips are more important. These going out trips, these vacations are more important. That's how you trigger the manifestation process also by your actions, your thoughts. You're going to look and say, hmm, the bank account is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's growing. And that is, I'm just that much closer to that vehicle. That's what you want to do. Check your thoughts and your focus. Then what's accumulating in your environment, it will tell you what you're really working towards. Because if you're working towards a new vehicle, then everything that you do will move towards that vehicle. It's like you're gathering all of these other energies, all of these other things to move towards that vehicle. Everything else that can go on hold goes on hold. And you place everything else on hold until you arrive at this particular spot. You now own the vehicle, then you can go back to eating out or going out, uh, getting a new, fresh, elaborate hairstyle or cut or whatever. Uh, but that's what I mean. So I'm trying to say that to get you to understand that everything you do signals to the universe, yes, I'm serious about this.